everybody, this is your favorite Greek here with another side of the guitar class. Before I go on with the class, make sure you hit the bell so that you know next time I come on your screens, you smash the like button and make sure you've subscribed because let's face it, it's one of the 10 commandments, thou shall not leave unsubscribed from George Maris's channel. Let's get on with the class. So today we're going to be talking about the chunky part of our thumb because it is an extremely useful tool in helping us maintain really good muting technique, especially when we play with a higher driven sound and play really explosively uh, and especially when we play on the higher uh, strings. Okay, so uh, grab your guitar and let's go. The main reason why this part of our thumb is an essential tool is because it can really help provide muting on the strings that we're not utilizing when we play. And this is specifically useful uh, when you're playing on the, let's say, three or four higher strings on the guitar, so high E to G or D string, because it means that when you're playing on those strings, all the rest are exposed. So if I play like something on the B and the high E string, everything else is gonna be exposed. And if I'm playing with that overdriven tone, there's gonna to be a lot of unpleasant transit. So this is a really, really great tool uh, and providing me the security that I want and I need when I'm performing into that kind of style uh, so that I don't have to worry about unpleasant sounds. So how do we go about bringing that in? Well, the first thing you can do is just do scales and slightly bring this in according to which string you're on. So let me, um, I'll talk you through this. So let's play, let's say like a, whatever, a B major scale. Okay, well, when I'm on my low E string, this finger is muting all the rest. So I don't really have to worry about this chunky part of my thumb. So I'm playing. And the A string is all right too because it's muted by that hand. So. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slightly bring this hand in and cover the E and the A string for when I'm about to play the D string. And I'm gonna bring this a little bit more inwards to cover the D string for when I'm playing the G string. And then again further in to play the B string. And then the high E string. So. You can do the same going back down in the scale. So we're starting here on the high E string, then B, so I'm slightly pulling my hand ever so slightly out to allow for space for the strings. And now this part of my thumb is not even touching the strings at all when I'm back on the low E string. And the next thing you can do is take lines that you've learned, especially if they're sort of rock blues lines, stuff that you can play with distortion that are quite explosive, and try and integrate that, okay? And a lot of the times what you'll find, especially if the stuff are sort of based on the top three strings, is that, at least what I do, is I just rest that here. Right, this is the end for today. Thank you for sticking around. If you enjoyed this class, feel free to share it with your guitar playing friends. Until next week, stay well, stay healthy, work out, get outside, and I will see you soon. Take care.